Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Daddy Rick again, talking about the reality of life. And before I start, I just want to say mega, 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 mega shout out to all my subscribers. And if you're not yet subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe so you will not miss any new updates from me. Okay, um, <laughs> before I start, I just want to have this, I just want to laugh actually. So let us go with our short intro and before we go to our main topic. So here we are. I just want you to hear this story, no? I don't know what to say, guys, eh, kasi medyo actually nakakahiya, no? Before we give uh, our point of view on this situation, eh, let's listen to our uh, kabayan, no, from uh, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, name, a man, or whatever her name is. So let's listen to her first. And I just seen this story in a, in the CBC News that is totally disturbing actually. So join me. 82 billion dollars more than 77 million dollars 100 million dollars want you to know that we'll be there to help you. The announcement started in March. Millions and billions of dollars at a time. Money first to help workers suddenly out of a job and businesses not allowed to open. The Canada Emergency Response Benefit will provide $2,000 a month. We're facilitating a wage subsidy up to 75%. Then came $9 billion to help post-secondary students, $2.5 billion for seniors, and money for farmers. $125 million National Agri-Recovery Initiative. All of it adding up to a staggering total, more than $150 billion and counting. So the question, of course, are these measures helping Canadians? Is this enough? Nim Calvez was laid off from her job as a hotel attendant, and she joins me now from Surrey, British Columbia. Good to see you, Nim. Hi, Rosemary. Thanks for having me. So you were laid off, not surprisingly, as hotels and the tourism sector closed down. What have you, uh, what have you done to help yourself, and how has the government helped you? Um, the government... Um help us with the CERB, the $2,000 um, benefit that they're giving us. But aside from that, there's not much available for for the workers. And it's pretty disappointing, but we're hoping in the long run or long term, the government will figure out something for the workers, especially in my industry. We are the most hardly hit because we 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 rely on tourism for for our business and for our our work and seeing how things right now it's going to be a while before people want to travel or stay in hotels well and i think your issue is more complicated because the $2000 is not just helping you it's also helping your daughter who is in the philippines is that right yes so aside from myself I'm helping a family in Philippines and I'm sending them money mostly every month. And the living expenses in Vancouver alone is very expensive. From $2,000, my rent is almost $1,500, $500 what's left for food and, and um, groceries. And that's, that's nothing. And I am using other resources like credit card to stay afloat. And, and how long do you think you can go on like that, Nim? Um, it's not long. Like after a couple of months, and I'm not just speaking for myself, I'm speaking for, for my coworkers, the hotel industry, and I'm sure a lot of us, not just hospitality industry, is hit hard with this. The majority of, of, of workers are, are struggling, and it's very devastating for for everyone to navigate in this um, hard times. Sure. Um, I'm going to talk to the finance minister in a moment. If you had anything that you wanted to ask him, what, what would you say to him? Um, 
I like the government to think of of helping workers in the long term because right now it's it's fine, but after maybe a month or two, even right now we're not okay. It's uh, where we lose half of our, our our wages, and that's very hard. But we can manage for short term. Long term, we need the government to think about how how are we gonna survive as as an mm-hmm. industry as i've said like we rely on tourism and it's going to be sure. a while before it's going to come back who knows if we're going to come back this year we're thinking more likely it's going to take us 18 to 24 months to recover and yeah. losing our job it's we or we also lose our health benefits uh and our our right to return to work is 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 on jeopardy as well so we're not just looking at financially, but we mm-hmm. are looking with a big picture and our future. Right. And it's very sad because a lot of us, we have put 20, 30, 40 years of our lives doing this job. And and it's, it's so devastating that we don't know what the future holds and no one can answer it for that. Right now, we're just waiting for for what's available to us and the two thousand dollars i'm not speaking just for myself i'm sure it's not it's not enough okay nim calvez thank you so much i'll put some of that to the finance minister Uh, i wish you good health and uh and good luck there thanks for speaking with us very much thank you very much okay so nim galvez (laughs) alam mo ating no nakakahiya yung dating mo eh no uh you have to be grateful regarding doon sa ginagawa ng ano ng ng Canadian government no to help the people no Actually ang daming bansa, ang daming mga kapwa natin mga Pilipino na nasa iba't ibang bansa na sorry hindi maka maka makatanggap ng katulad ng tatanggapin niyo. Yeah, mahal ang ano, mahal ang ang standard of living sa Canada. But yung parang diktahan mo yung gobyerno regarding of yung dapat ganito, dapat ganyan, long term, big picture, etc, etc, ek, ek mo. Actually, ano eh, nonsense, no? Unang-una, you haven't even say thank you, no? Doon sa sa effort ng government. And thinking about the the, the situation of you as a foreign no? national in the country. No? Kung totoo sin, you have to be very grateful, di ba? Yung sitwasyon hindi lang sa Canada, hindi lang sa Pilipinas. That it's more than a hundred countries affected, no? At hindi lahat may privilehyong natatanggap na ganyan. So, yung, yung nakakahiya, uulitin ko, nakakahiya. Kasi yung tema mo, para bang masyado kang, ano yan, masyado kang maraming needs, no? Yung papadala sa Pilipinas, dapat maintindihan din na nasa Pilipinas na na nasa ganong sitwasyon ng lahat so they have to cover on things mo na di ba temporarily or hindi kaya checking your Facebook profile is masyado ka kasi ano eh masyadong maluho yung dating mo no kita na sa figura mo sa itsura mo yes i've been in the hotels no you have to maintain that 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 way no yung ating ano uh, pangangatawan yung ating itsura no kasi nasa frontline tayo eh but at this situation, no, nobody wants this to happen. Yun lang ang masasabi ko. Walang may gusto na itong sitwasyon na to. And you are lucky, one of the lucky person that staying on that government or in that country na may natatanggap na ganyan. As I understand, monthly yan eh. Monthly hanggang sa makarecover. Do you know, Did you have, have you ever computed yung mangyayaring damage niya sa economy ng Canada itself no parang dito sa Pilipinas di ba yung pinagbububusan ng mga nasa kabilang parlor no against the government na binigyan ng ng special power ng pangulo may 200 billion na ni-release wala naman sa kami ng pangulo yun eh di ba i-release yun bibigay na ayuda then paulit-ulit parang ganoon ang tema mo eh wala kayong ano wala kayong kaligayahan no so temporarily kung mamahalin yung tinitirad mo 1500 Canadian dollar. So kung nag-iisa ka diyan, why you have to live in a, in a very cozy apartment? Marami akong kapamilyang nandiyan diyan, kaibigan na nandiyan sa Canada. Having a 1500 apartment by yourself alone, no. If you are alone, mamahalin yan, di ba? 
So, sabi nga, sa gitna ng sitwasyon, wag isisi ito sa gobyerno dahil hindi naman ginusto ng kahit anong gobyerno, kahit anong bansa, yung senaryo. So, baka pwede mag-transfer mo na, di ba? Ma- yung maliit na, na pwesto, yung shared apartment, no? In a room ka lang. I don't think it will cost you 1500 for that para ma-save, no? Hindi lang naman ikaw siguro yung nandiyan dyan sa Pilipino sa Canada, no? And I think the other, the other Filipinos in Canada are totally, totally feeling na na napahiya sila sa mga pinagsasasabi mo. Nakakahiya, sabi nga. Pero hindi naman nawawala yung mga ganyang katulad ninyo eh. So, para sa iyo, Nim. Good luck sa iyong ano sistema. Eh, baka tulungan ka ng news. Baka papuntahin ka sa finance uh, uh, secretary or whoever, no? Da ikaw yung magdikta kung ano dapat gawin sa ng gobyerno para sa mamamayan. Baka mas matalino ka sa kanila eh and computing everything. So, good luck for that. Okay? Pero sabi nga, eh, counting hinay-hinay, be grateful of the blessings, no? Of the help that we are receiving, no? Huwag yung masyadong palahanap. Hindi lang, nakakaya, girl. Ayan. Kaya, eh. <laughs> Panood ko lang, eh. Na, 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 Nag-ano ko, eh. Nandito ko sa... sa, sa online eh. Tapos na-view na ko lang na gano'n eh. CBC News, dahil lagi ako nag-check ng tungkol sa, sa nangyayari nga sa COVID or something. Then, dumaan, dumaan yung ano eh, yung, yung sayo. Ang ganda pa ng titulo eh. No? So, that's it guys. No? Kayo na yung balang magsabi. I'm, I don't want to judge. No? In this channel, we don't judge anyone. We are, we are just making these topics in a fair and balanced situation of giving our own point, point of view Para naman to sa mga nakikita natin na, di ba, sa Pilipinas nga, ang daming din nakatanggap dahil sa mga kupitan. From to, di ba, daming humawak eh, daming nakialam. So, yun lang, di ba? So, sabi nga, sana, 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 yung hiya, wag inaalis sa katawan, no? wag yung kasing lapad mo, yung kapal ng pananaw mo. Okay? So, thank you very much again guys. This is Daddy Rick again, talking about the reality of life. And don't forget to click like, leave your comments, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell and put it in all so you let miss any new updates from me. And don't forget to share so we can spread the love and the knowledge. And again, COVID-19 is still here. So, it will be better to stay home, stay safe. To my family, Mommy, and to my, cook, my two kids, DX and 3H, I love you very much, guys. And to, and to all, as I'm always saying, life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. So, God bless us all.